<laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As I mentioned earlier in the email I sent you, I apologize for this inconvenience. My office is currently being renovated and the company only notified me that it would be on the same day when I would interview you. Um, no, it's okay. Actually, I've um, been here. So Matt, please tell me about yourself. What were you responsible for in your last job and your experience? Well, as you already know, my name is Matt. I am a 22-year-old college graduate. I think of myself as a social person who likes to get everything done. Recently in my last job, I was responsible for putting together a film crew and managing it well together, and we put together a really good film. Uh, my last job was great, it was, it was wonderful, but unfortunately I got uh, laid off, so that's why I'm here with you today. Hmm, I see. Have you ever encountered being in a team that had a hard time working together, whether it be from work or outside of your work? Well, actually, I have this um, friend of mine, Tracy. I met up with him this other day, and he invited me over to his role-playing game that he was making with his friends. It's a five. Dang, didn't we have to add now? Uh, no, you guys guessed the number one off. But you said if we guessed a four. No, we guessed a four. Exactly. So that means one of us has to act No, that means if you guys were three or four off, then you guys would have to act. I thought I told you guys this. But you said if we guessed a three or a four. No, I didn't. I never said that. Tracy. 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 What the? Matt? Remember what I told you. Be patient. It's better. You know, I didn't really know understand what the game was, so I, you know, I asked him, you know, what are the rules? What I meant to say is, if the number is three or four off, then you guys would have to act. It was too vague, it was a little too fast, and everyone got really confused. I tried to patch everything together, and we managed to get the game rolling good. You know, we had a lot of fun. I see. That's an interesting answer. Alright then. How important is having a good social environment in a work setting? Brightening other people's days really does increase the value of productivity around the environment. I'm a guy that cares about how my friends are doing, how my family is doing and especially in the situation how my co-workers are doing. You mean you were being for real? No, I wasn't being for real. I wasn't being serious. You were! You were being serious! Tracy, can you please um, roll the dice? Oh my god, you are so dumb! He already told us like a gazillion times! Whether it be grabbing a cup of coffee or getting food to eat or Maybe play video games. Whatever it takes. Just even talking to them. Um, wow. You are just so mean. What are you gonna do about it? Chuck. 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 Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Do Don't let her do that to you. What you gonna do about it? Natalie, stop being so mean! It helped me, and it helped my friends, so... I'm speaking from experience when I say that it really does help to brighten somebody's day. Natalie! Even though Matt is not here, doesn't mean you can revert to your wicked ways. Apologize to Chuck! At once! Yeah, you don't get to nag at me at 
no more. You don't get to be mean to me no more. That's it. No more. Hmm. All right. Have you ever had someone repeat a mistake where you had already corrected him or her before? If so, how did you correct that person's mistake to ensure that it won't happen again? Uh, yeah. I had this um, one friend of mine. Let's call her Natalie. Natalie was in charge of the whole game at the moment. You think you can yell at me? I'm going to! She was constantly making condescending comments to all of us, all of her fellow team members, so I told her to, you know, stop making condescending comments. I refrained her with um, reasons to help her recognize the value of correcting her mistake. Natalie? 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 Yes, Matt. I will stop nagging at Chuck at once. I basically told Natalie that whatever triggers that he commits that would cause her to nag, to just ignore all that and just, you know, just not nag at all. I apologize for not realizing sooner. I will make sure it does not happen again. And in the end, it worked. We were able to get the game done, and we were able to all get along, and we were able to fix Natalie's problem. Uh, what's, what's going on? I mean, but I, I just, I don't know. I don't know either, but I like it. She says she's not going to nag at me anymore. Ah, good answer. Now, if hired, how long do you see yourself working for our company? Well, once... Can I go talk to Tracy for a moment? Um, I'll see you guys over there in a bit. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, man. 